Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice What's your name? You. My name is Edwin. Edwin? Edwin. Edwin? Yeah. Oh, all right. Your name is Wilbur, right? You're right. <laughs> Good, that's good, Wilbur. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. So tell me, Wilbur, what, what do you do? Um, I am like independent. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am not working uh, in a company at, at this moment. I am working uh, for myself. Mm -hmm. Great, what kind of work do you do? I earn like commission selling cars. Oh, that's great. Do you, yeah. do, you, uh, do you import and fix them or only sell them? Only sell them. Mm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mira, me voy a ir para arriba porque Chelito mucho bullas. O encerrámela ya, porfa. No quiero bulla porque dijeron que no se podía tener bulla. That's right, Maritza. Perdón. Pero, pero, no. pero, pero, no. <laughs> I have a, I have a dog and it, <laughs> she is very noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Maritza. It happens. It's part of the technology, right? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great. And Wilbur, you were saying, uh, where do you work? San Salvador or? Uh, in Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Yeah. Okay. Are you from here? In Santa Tecla. Tecla. Oh, you're from Santa Tecla? Yes, yes. Oh, maybe we are a neighbor and we don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, so I work around here. Hey, I know uh, many, uh, like many guys that sell vehicles and, well, I, I try to find some customers to sell the cars. Mm. Do you work near Mudanzas Tecleña? Is that where you work? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, but I know what are you talking about. There is like a car wash and there yeah. are some, some guys that uh, sell cars too and they import them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know any of them? I do. I know the owner. Oh. Mm hmm is uh let me see what his name salvador is his name oh yeah mm -hmm. oh he has a, a, a like a big dealer yeah he, right. yeah 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 and and then the, i i know because salvador gives cars to other people to sell also but he sells also mm -hmm. yeah i know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah pretty good that's good to know yeah 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 so we are neighbors you see yeah, I see. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. So what I'd like us to start by, I, I see we're starting with Wilbur a little bit. Um, we're going to wait just a second for other people because the first day, everybody is always late. But some of you I already know. Uh, I, I Because I remember that I saw you or I had you before in the course, Ooh, maybe I don't know, maybe six months ago, four, five months ago. Uh huh. So, okay. Hey, what is your background? It's like a, like a pilot or, or what? It's like a, like a ship, ship like a spaceship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like. Like, like you are flying a, in a spaceship or a pilot or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, anybody else, would anybody else like to tell us what they do, where they work, or anything like that? Good night, teacher. Hello, hello. I'm glad to see you again, teacher. Glad to see you, Marcela. Good night. Hello, Nathan. It's Natalie, right? Yes. Okay. So what uh, do you do? What do you do, Natalie? Uh, I'm 
a moment. I only I am a student mm -hmm. at the university, and this is my first time. Okay. And so nice to meet you, everyone. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Okay. So before we begin, I'm going to write something that I heard two times already uh, as a mistake so that we can correct it, okay? In English, there is no good night to say hello. The way to say hello is good evening. Good night is only to say goodbye. So when at the end of the class, we say good night. At the beginning of the class, we say good evening. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. And of course. Thank you. Of course, you're welcome. It's some of the things that we learn. Okay. Uh, now, Natalie says she is the first time that she is in this uh, course. Anybody else? Is there anybody that this is the first time? Samuel? Me? For you. Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, Samuel. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is my mm -hmm. first time. Uh, I knew about this opportunity in my job. Uh, my English is not good, but I will try to give my best, you know. Uh, I'm here because I want to learn. I want to learn more vocabulary to practice my English. And I work in Aduana, San Bartolo, uh, from Ministerio de Hacienda. So uh, for me, it's important because uh, we receive a lot of documents in English alcohols, uh, beverage, uh, all kind of things. So uh, the vocabulary is a little bit technical, but uh, it's important to know uh, the grammatical statements, uh, grammatical pronouns, when you pronounce uh, to do the correct sentences, you know. Uh, well, uh, this is my first time and I would try to, to give my best. And I, I hope, uh, Everybody uh, are, are good students. Uh, if I can help you anything, I'm in your order. I don't know how to say that, but. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, it's I'm available. Okay, maybe, mm -hmm. sometime, maybe someday we will receive this class uh, face to face, you know. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Uh -huh. I don't think so, but it's possible in the future. Maybe could be possible. So, uh, mm -hmm. well, nice to meet you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, so, uh, and that's all I can tell about myself. Okay. I'm trying to get this done, but okay. Anybody else would like to share something about themselves? Hey, uh, I only want to say that this is my first time in, the, in this course too. And I hope to learn a lot. And I hope we can help each other to improve our English skills, to improve our listening, our speaking, of course. And I hope to learn a lot of grammar because I, I know sometimes it is a little bit tricky to understand some rules that maybe we don't handle uh, too, too much. So that's all. My name is Peter and I'm here for everybody as Samuel said before, I'm here too for help each other when, when I, whenever I can. Thank you. All right, nice to meet you, Peter. Nobody else? Okay. I, my name is Jonathan. Hey. Good evening, everybody. My name is Jonathan, and this is my first time here. Uh, well, I think uh, I want to learn as quickly as I can, and that's all for the moment. Okay. All right. Great. So don't worry, it's our first day, so it's okay. We do a little bit of introductions and get to know everybody, okay? Anybody else? All 
Okay, I guess everybody else is shy, right? We know what is shy. Yes, vergüenza. What is shy, Ernestina? Yes. Pena o vergüenza. Good evening, teacher. My name is Ernestina. This is my second time in this class, the English. And I try to, to learn uh, more. And I, I say this uh, in, in Spanish. Uh, entiendo bastante el idioma inglés. No me cuesta mucho entenderlo cuando las personas hablan. Lo que me cuesta es la gramática, escribirlo, y quizá darme a entender en el idioma inglés, teacher. Muchas gracias. You're welcome, Ernestine. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, too. Thank you, too. Okay. 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 So, as you can see, we are a lot of participants. We are a lot, and it's good. That's excellent. If you see, we are in this moment 27 people, right? Well, 26. Okay. So we are 26 people. So it's important that we work together and we understand the platform. Okay. First, <laughs> let me pause and make sure. Hay alguien que no está entendiendo lo que yo estoy diciendo. No? No, teacher, it's clear. Okay. We understand. Okay, perfect. Then I continue in English. All right. Si no entiende lo que estoy diciendo, por favor, díganme para que así pueda hablar en español, para estar claro, porque son las indicaciones de cómo trabajamos en la plataforma. All right. So, in our platform, I'll share my screen with you so that we can get the idea. All right. Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. All right, yes. perfect. So this is your platform. In your platform, you're going to have many different units. The course for you has five parts, right? We have, they're called sections. Section one, two, three, four, and five. But we have classes only four weeks, only four weeks. This means we are going to complete section one, two, and section three this week and next week. We are going to complete in two weeks the three sections. Then the week three and week four, the last two weeks, we are going to complete section four and five. Why? It's because the first three are usually easier and the last two are usually more difficult. Also, you have final exams. The final exam is all of the platform, is unit one or section one, two, three, four, and section five. So many times you need more time to review. Okay. When you go to the platform, you click in section one and you begin. If you want to advance, you can advance all that you want, all that you understand. It's no problem. This is excellent. The idea of the class is to support the platform. So if you advance, it's great because if you have difficulty, if you have questions or you don't understand, in the class, I can answer your questions. This is the purpose of the platform. Now, to pass the platform or to pass to the next level is necessary a minimum minimum grade of 80. This means you have to receive 80, the average in every activity, okay? The activities have different scores. So if you have 70 and one, it's okay. You, you can do again if you want, or you can do the next activity and get a 90. Are there any questions in this moment? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No? Okay, great. It's clear. It's clear, perfect, perfect. The beginning of every unit, the, every unit is the same. The idea is you have the objective, you have video, then we have practice, uh, we have some grammar, we have more videos, more practice, and so on. 
Okay. Now, this part right here, where you see the knowledge check in unit one or in section one, we have one, two, three, and four knowledge checks. This means that here, these are your grades. This is where you're going to receive the grades. Okay. Remember, you need to receive 80 or more. So here, this video will help you to do the knowledge check. This video is to help you do the knowledge check. And from that, that's how you get on with the platform and continue with the exercises and the activities. It's okay? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I have, a, I have a question. Yes, yes, please ask. Mm -hmm. Is there, um, when you put the knowledge check, every time you do the evaluation, this is going to be the grade. Oh, Correct. The, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have one, two, three knowledge or knowledge check. The Four. average of the three is going to be the final grade. Correct. Oh, okay. That is correct. The average of the three or the four or in the total, I think is like 20. Yes. The okay. average of the 20 is going to be the final grade. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, very important. Yes, is the knowledge check, but also you have two exams. You have one exam, which is called a midterm. It's here in section three. This is not a knowledge check, but it is an exam for unit one, two, and three. Then you have another exam in section five, is the final exam, and it's from section one, two, three, four, and five. And then the average of everything is your grade. Can we repeat every section as many times we want? Yes, you can. So if you have a, for example, in the first knowledge check, you were distracted, uh, something happened, you lost electricity, whatever, any, anything, and you have a bad grade, it's okay. You can repeat again and you can do it again. What about the exams? Can we do that too? And, and the exam, yes, you may repeat the exam again. Any questions? No. For me, everything is okay. I started to work in section one. Okay, Mario, that's great. Okay, so if you are already working in it, it's perfect because this is the idea. The idea is to start working and to start creating the different things and to make sure that it's clear. So the, the idea, the ideal things is to, to read or see the, the section before and then we ask you in the class, during the class. Am I this right? Is the, yes, this is the ideal situation. I understand that sometimes you are busy, you have work, it's difficult, but this is the ideal because when we are in class, then you have an idea of, ah, I need to learn this vocabulary or I didn't understand this grammar. And it's easy for me to answer your question. But as an example, imagine I explain the class and I finish many times when you do the knowledge check, then you say, hey, I, how do I do this? What happened? Uh, and then you have questions, but then I am not in the class. Then it's too late and you have to wait for the next day. So it's better to be prepared before. The important is when you have a question, write down, for example, knowledge check one or exercise one, uh, question three. That way you remember, no, ah, hey, hey, I have a question, but uh, let me check, let me check. No, that way you are prepared like a meeting. Like if you are in business, like if you are at work, you go prepare. No, uh, what is the meeting? Um, I, I don't know sales. I, I don't know. No, no, you go prepare. This is the best idea. 
um, how is going to be the, the class? Are we going to talk about something, some something or, or something like that? Yes. Um, it, do you refer to the topics or to the different? Yes. Yes, yes we will. The idea for the class is, yes, we are a lot. And the idea is we are supposed to have uh, moments where we discuss. For example, I say, okay, Samuel and Marcela, uh, you, you imagine you are a salesperson and you are a customer and let's act, okay? Or uh, Wilbur and Iris. Uh, Wilbur and Iris give a presentation for uh, explaining yourself or depending the grammar or it's different, different situations like that. Any, any other questions? Mm, I'm sorry, what about the WhatsApp? Can we talk uh, there too? Yeah, we, already we talk in WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see several of you already. Uh, for example, uh, Jose, Doble, Eduardo, hey, a lot of people are already speaking in there, in the chat, Lizzie. Mm -hmm. And it's good, it's excellent that you are speaking in, in English. Some people already begin speaking in Spanish, right? For example, you, you, we have, when you look in the chat, you see many people speaking in English and then you have one or two people speaking in Spanish. Remember, try to maintain in English because if not, it's like in the movies. If everybody watching the movie, watching the movie and one person have the cell phone, on it distract everything mm -hmm. so it's okay if you say hey I, I i i don't know how to write it's okay write the way that you think but if you never practice you never learn teacher yes um i am not in the whatsapp group can you add me I cannot add you. You have to add yourself with the link from the email that you received. Mm, okay, I will look for that later. Just because it's the same email to enter this class. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not a separate email, it's not different. It's in the email to enter this class. The code and the link is the same for the link for the WhatsApp group. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, I say it. I saw, I say it already. Mm, then read the email, huh? Mm, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> you see there, and then you can just enter the WhatsApp group. All right. And the reason is, this is to guarantee that the people that are in the WhatsApp group are the people that are for this class. No, hey, I, I, I want to enter and then someone give me the other number or something. No, no, no. Only the people that receive the emails. Okay. Anybody else have any question? Uh, I have a, a question uh, mm -hmm. for the for the people that is the first time with this platform with the, the first class. Uh, I didn't know that we have to do first the well the the the, the exercises the lessons. I just make a few a few of them. So uh, right now I don't have a lot of questions to ask because I have to to review and. And you know, and re review all the, the exercises. Then I will I will have to to write the my doubts. Okay, and that's okay. fine. No problem. Okay. Like I said, is the first day. So the first day is okay. We work together. We begin, and that okay. tomorrow we together. Everyone is in the same activities. Everybody has the same idea what to do. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I think everybody is, is clear or any last questions?
Um, but are you going to to do like a review of every part of the section? Or do you do you want us to uh, like, for example, do you want us to finish the section one for tomorrow, or 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 what? I always, always, I every exercise, every activity we do in the class. But mm -hmm. for your education, it's easier if you read before the class. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. It's not if you don't have time or you can't, it's okay because in the class we do every exercise and we check. Okay. The idea is the reason is is like is like going to the gym. If you go to the gym and do exercise, but you don't eat healthy, you don't receive the results. But if you do your part in the gym with the trainer, that's me and you do your part outside, the results are better. It's the same idea for here. It's not that it is not possible, but your results and your effort is better if you do two things. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, great. So let me start by, we'll go back. And then we can start uh, with our activities in the class. Are there any other questions before we begin? Me. Okay, Natalie. If I uh, repeat the evaluation, my mm -hmm. final score thanks. Yes. If because the, the evaluation is the highest score. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. What was her question? Can you repeat it? Yes, her question was, uh, if you do the evaluations again, or if you do the knowledge check again, does your grade change? And the answer is yes, because your grade is the highest score you receive. Oh, okay. Do five times. And in number three, you receive a 10, your grade is a 10, even if you want right. to do this more times. It's for the highest grade. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, great. All right, so if we don't have any questions, we can get to it. Perfect. Today, let's take a look. We're starting off our lesson one with the objective of pronouns, right? We have pronouns that are who and that. This is the grammar part. Who and that. Does anybody know when we use who or when we use that? Can you use... Uh, uh one or another at the same? No, you can use that for both, but you cannot use who for both. Okay. Okay, and we're going to learn why. The main idea is that who is for people. Who is for people and that is for people or things. So many times when we are looking at it, it's easy to remember who for people, that or thing. But in reality, that can be used many times people for people or things. And we're going to see a little video that explains it. Take a moment and watch. Teacher. Yes. I don't know if in this section we are going to see whom, but I have this stuff on my mind. I don't know the difference between who, that, and whom. It, at the moment, no, but yes, whom is for the person that receives the action. Okay. It's like the passive voice. So you use who and that as an uh, as the subject, but you use whom as the object. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, for example. Uh, 
I gave a flower to Natalie. Okay, so the girl whom I gave a flower to uh, is in my class. Okay. She, does, she receives, not she does. But when we go into the class or we when we go to the unit, you will see more examples. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So here we have our ideas for the objective. Our first video is relative pronouns as subject. Remember here, the who and the that are the relative pronouns, okay? And we're gonna see how we use them and how to make two sentences into one. Hello everyone. In this class, you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now, let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples, and at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So, in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who are into serious. Or you could say, I like guys that are into serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys, they are into serious. And what we do is, if you notice in grade up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary, you could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like, I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives, all right? So whenever you use adjectives, what you're gonna have in this uh, second statement is gonna be uh, the verb to be either positive or negative, okay? Um, and, then the, and then that's gonna follow the adjective. And so what I want you to notice at this time. So as you can see, what they are really explaining is we use it to combine two sentences. It's simple. Do you say like your opinion or what you are talking about? And then you have the second sentence and you use this to join the two sentences and not have to finish and begin again with another pronoun. So as you can see, the first one, I like guys or I like girls or whatever you like. And what type of guys do you like? Or what type of do you enjoy? Oh, they aren't too serious. So instead of having two sentences, we combine them and only use one. Why who or that? Remember, who or that? Because who is for people. But that can be used for both people or things. That's why it's correct that. But if you say, I like cars, is not correct to say who. Is only correct to say, I like cars that aren't too expensive, for example. Is it okay? Any questions? No teacher. No? No teacher. No, everybody's okay. We can give some examples.
Okay, so in that case, in the chat, write one example, write one example with who and one example with that. Okay, Mari, thank you. I like that red card. I like people who are too funny. Okay, Natalie, good. Remember that, Natalie, we don't use two for positive. We use two for negative. So only I like people who are funny or I like people who are very funny. I like, I like that burger. I prefer cars that are comfortable. Excellent. So we're understanding. Everybody's clear with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. So we're clear. All right. Uh, so that's the part that we can go on to the next part. All right, good. I prefer cars that are fast. Exactly. Now remember, if we use who is only for people, right? Who only for people. All right, so let's continue then for our parts. Okay, so now we go on to the next one, lesson 1.2. Okay, so what's this one is relative pronouns, right? So we're still continuing with who or that, but now instead of subjects, like here, we we'll learn what, how to use them as objects and what's the difference. So let's watch a small video. Let me see. Give me just a sec before we go. Okay. Hello, everyone. In this class, you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now, let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples, and at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They are into serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who 
aren't too serious. Or you could say, I like guys that aren't too serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys, they aren't too serious. And what we do is, if you notice in grade up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary. You could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives. All right. So whenever you use adjectives, what you're going to have in this uh, second statement is going to be uh, the verb to be either. Okay. Now, this is one of the reasons that I really prefer, and it's better if we watch the video at, at home, because as you can see, the video is long and the video is a little boring, but really it's the same idea. It, the important is that we join the two, and the idea is the objects, the only difference is that you give your opinion, okay? I prefer, I like, I, or, uh, the, and then you put whatever it is. You, I would prefer, for example, and then we use for that, okay? This is the main idea for it. And I'll go ahead a little bit further up so we can have a few more examples, okay? Like they're making in there. Like, uh, yes, someone, do you have a question? Oh. No? Okay. So the same thing, the same idea, right? You like to meet people, you like to see things, you like to do things, and then just, we put it in, okay? All right, so right now, in, we're going to take one moment, and, okay? So right at the end, and right now, we're gonna go to 1.4. If you are, because does everybody have the, uh, English Cooperativo open so that you can do the 1.4 in your computer, the activity, the knowledge check. So try the 1.4 and then we'll check in just a moment. Okay, is everyone finished? No. Lydia, good job, okay. Lemar, don't worry, we wait one more moment, don't worry. Yes, teacher. All right, Marcela, good. Knowledge 1.4. Correct, correct. Well, so if you are doing it, let's try it together. Let's make sure that it's clear. So 
as an example, number one, it says, I don't want to have a partner. Okay. Which is the best to match? Which one, the partner? What do you don't want to have? What kind of partner? Best, I like a friend, partner, friend, person, desempañero. Mm, partner, like a maybe like a romantic. I guess the the best is. I have nothing in common with this person. Okay. Number two. Okay. Well, don't worry. We we work together. We're gonna get it together. What about number two? I'd like to meet people. These people have a good sense of humor. These people have a good sense of humor. Okay. What about I prefer a roommate? Remember, what is roommate? Roommate is not common in Salvador, but is the person that you live with. This is the roommate. This person is quiet and this person is quiet and considerate. Okay, this person is quiet and considerate. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. What about four? I don't like to be with people. I don't feel comfortable around these people. Ah, okay. I don't feel comfortable. What about, I want to discuss my problems with friends. These people, these people are, are warm, warm and, and sensitive. sensitive. Good. These people are warm and sensitive. What about, I'd rather have a boss. Remember, rather means yes. Mm-hmm. This person, this person has, has good, 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 good qualities. Okay, good. And the last one, I'd prefer to have teachers. Cool. Hello. These people, these people are, are organized and intelligent. Okay, then we check and see how well we did. You see? Yeah. All of them. Oh, no. Okay. Now, how do we know in case you have some mistakes or some problems? We use the information from the original sentence. Ah, partner, partner is singular. Ah, people, people are plural. Roommate, roommate is singular, is one person. And that's how we can help ourselves making it easier and easier. Any questions, part? No. What is rather? Rather is prefer or that you select. So here, I think it was number six. I rather have a boss. Rather is you want, you prefer this option. This sentence is in future? No, this sentence is in present. When you use I'd, I would rather is now. I would rather, for example, in this class, many people say, ah, I would rather be sleeping. But it's for now, not, not for the future. Yes. I, I can pronounce uh, leadership. Which one? And leadership. 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 Thank you. For number six, correct? Leadership. Here. Okay. Great. Okay. Oh, sorry. Were there any other questions before we continue? Okay. As I said, unit one is fairly easy because we are learning, we are getting to know. That's why it's easier the first two weeks to advance and to go faster. Now we're looking at adjectives that describe personalities. For this one, I want you to write in the chat an adjective that describes a personality. What, what do you think is this? What can be an adjective that describes a personality? 
So think about you. Think about, hey, Wilbur, think about you. Think about you, Samuel. Think about you, Noria, Hilda. What adjective describes you? What kind of person are you? Thank you, Mari. Uh huh. Okay. Put it in the chat. Let me see. What adjective describes you? What in this thing Friendly. Put it in the chat. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. We have Denise, Dennis, Shy, Lydia. That is not an adjective. Try another. That is a noun. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so now everyone is looking in the chat. Are there any adjectives in the chat you do not know? Look in the chat. Are there any adjectives you don't know? You say, hey, what is the what is that? Mm -hmm. Sergio. Self confidence. Okay, good. Self confident. Confident. Self confident is you believe in yourself. I believe I can do it. I can do it. Patient. <clears throat> Sorry, someone? Uh, patient. Patient. Patient is that you. How, you are not angry for being in the line in the bank or in the in east you it's okay you are patient you have time it's a good way to to manage the stress yes <laughs> yes 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 mm -hmm. here here yes i was going to say sergio the first word friendly is correct that is an adjective the second word is the correct way is cheerful Sergio, can you explain to us what is cheerful? I think that's what you meant. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, when you talk about a, a cheerful person, you refer to uh, someone who is so happy in um, a easygoing behavior. I'm not sure if I am in a mistake, but I, I think that is the concept, at least for me. Okay, good. So cheerful is a happy person. This is the idea for cheerful. Okay, so if you are a cheerful person, you are happy. Okay, Dennis, how can I help you? No, wait, no, that's it. All right, I think, let me see. Organized, calm, creative, self-educated. Okay. Is Dennis, you want to say workaholic? Is that correct? No, okay. All right, Dennis, no problem. The idea is workaholic. Okay. That means someone that works a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So now let's take a look at some new adjectives that are not in the chat to describe people. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn. Okay. Who can read number one? Easy going. Read the sentence, Will. Mm -hmm. An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Okay, good. Thank you. So somebody that is very relaxed, no stress, no problem. They they make friends easily. What about number two? Who can read number two? Egoistical. An egoistical person is someone who has a very high option of himself. Him or herself. Thank you. Egotistical. Sam. Thank you, Samuel. It's egotistical, egotistical, and has a very high opinion of him or herself. Good. Who can read number three? 
flexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change change easily and is a stone a stone wall. Stubborn. Stubborn. Okay. What is Stubborn. that? That means the person is they are hard headed. They don't they they say no and no is no, or they say yes and yes is yes, and they don't change their opinion. This is Testarud in Spanish teacher. That's correct, Ernestina. That is correct. Okay. Good. Who can read number four? Modest. <coughs> A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about this about his or her accomplishment. Correct. So that is modest. That means the person is not, ah, look at me, look at me. No, no, no. The person is similar. Many times we say to humble. We say in Spanish, many times we say humble, but is English modest? What does brag mean? Brag is that I talk. For example, I say, hey, uh, uh, Dina, I have a car. My car is Mercedes. I have a BMW, I have a play. Ah, this is brag. It's not necessary to tell, that's it. And brag is you talk and you talk about the things that you have or the things that you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the next one? Who can read number five? Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Thank you. Yeah. They like to be around other people. They like to interact. Okay. What about number six? Stingy. Stingy is the, the stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Yeah. So in Spanish, we say, hey, the person is stingy. They, they are elbow, but in English, it's stingy. They don't like to give anything. Los de Huachapán, teacher, tienen a fama. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, I'm from Huachapán. I'm ah, not serio. so. Ay, serio. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. I'm not so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. Hay que comprobarlo. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's good. Okay. What about okay. who can read number seven? Supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Thank you, Jonathan. It's supportive and encouraging. Supportive and encouraging. That way they, they say, yes, I help you. Yes, I like your mom or your dad. Hey, you can do it. You can continue. Try it. I help you. And what is number eight? Who can read number eight? Temperamental. Mm -hmm. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular mood. Thank you, Natalie. It's unpredictable or irregular moods. Moods. Unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Moods are the emotions. Happy, sad, but here... Temperamental is, you don't know. One moment happy, one moment angry, one moment sad. This is temperamental. Okay. And the last one, number nine, who can read number nine? Unreliable. 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 An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Ah, exactly. That means the person says, hey, I'm going to go to the party. I'm going to be there. And they don't go. Oh, I pay you tomorrow. And they don't pay you tomorrow. Hey, Can I'm you repeat the pronunciation, please? Of course. Unreliable. Un Unreliable. Correct. Unreliable. Someone that lies? No, 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 no. Someone that, yes, yes, yes. But no, not that they lie. Is that you don't believe them because... They say and they never do. For example, hey, I, I see you at the church and they never go to the church. Hey, I'm going to help you fix the car 
and they never help you fix a car. This is unreliable. It's different than a liar. It's different than a liar because the person is not dependable. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, yes. uh, please, uh, how did you pronounce egotistical or very good Samuel egotistical egotistical oh, okay mm -hmm. very good and as you can see this is why it's very helpful if you watch the videos ahead because then you say hey how do I pronounce this word how do I have this how do I have it's easier as I mentioned uh yes all of the activities we do in class but it's easier if you have an idea already of what we are talking about, okay? Well, guys, it's, okay. great. it's great to have you here. I hope everybody joins again tomorrow and tomorrow we can practice some more activities, okay? Okay. okay. All right, it was great to meet you all. Have a good night. <laughs> Have a nice. Good night. 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 Good night.